Um, shall I introduce myself? I'm Miriam Bryant. I'm born in Gothenburg on the west coast of Sweden. I'm half British, half Finnish, and I'm a singer-songwriter. I feel like people from Gothenburg are proud of me, yeah. I don't want to brag. I've seen like sometimes people call me the Queen of Gothenburg. It's just surreal. I don't really feel like the Queen of Gothenburg, but it does feel like coming home. Because I've been living in Stockholm for five years. I always have the biggest audiences when I come home. I just know that there's like a special sense of togetherness. Maybe it's the shitty weather. <laughs> I don't know. I've always dreamed about, you know, singing and being on stage and that's always been my dream but we didn't really know anyone that was a real musician or artist when we grew up so I didn't really think that you could actually do that. I just wrote a lot of poems and did a lot of scrapbooking and drawing and I was always creative and everyone needs something. Everyone needs something or someone to kind of make you feel better about yourself and your life and I guess music was that thing for me. I never even thought about doing anything else. If you have a plan B, then you're not stressed enough to do, you know, get to your plan A. I've been thinking about my life a lot lately. I'm 26 now and I've been doing this for five years and I guess that you know, having done everything, almost everything that I can do in Sweden, I think I naturally want to do something outside of Sweden. Like, I have family in, in, in England. My uncle lives in Brighton. I've always thought that Brighton and Gothenburg are actually pretty similar. Whenever you say Brighton to a British person, they go, oh! And if you say Gothenburg to a Swedish person, they go, ah! Oh. Maybe it's kind of the same vibe, in a way. Coming back to Gothenburg is almost like sleeping with an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Someone that you'll always love, but you know, you already left them for good reasons. Like you, you just want to go back sometimes. Lisa Barry, it's a theme park and we used to go there as kids. They put up loads of live shows and I went there several times every summer to go see my favorite bands or artists. That was a dream that I had to play on the main stage at Lisbury. And I've played there now. I remember standing on the stage and like almost seeing, like picturing myself in the audience as like a 13 year old. The most important thing in life, and I've learned that the hard way sometimes, is to love yourself. I mean, the whole point of art is to feel something. To say to someone that you have to love yourself, that's too much to ask from a person. You don't have to love yourself, but I think you have to be aware of what you want, to, and that has to be important for you to kind of be able to value other people as well.